Mr. Ropado Chicho would love to hear your outlook on the markets for 23 given macros and supposed supposed Fed raises do you have a target bottom for indexes in crypto okay um, crypto bottom for short term might have been hit I don't think so though it might go down further I think the US dollar is gonna get stronger uh, if certain things don't play out it, everything is iffy really right now is throw a dart whatever right um, I would not be long on majority of the markets uh, of stocks in, in the stock market uh, not by a long shot uh, some stocks may go up uh, some stocks may go up I think uh, if this is a charts game really there are uh, there are cer certain companies that may have a very prosperous future in the coming years or they could also have a wrench thrown in their in their wheels um in the machinery and they could go nowhere right they could go nowhere uh look i'm i'm on the mindset um okay let, let me give you my take on it my take on it is mostly in line with martin armstrong we're on 90 percent 80 percent in line with martin armstrong right there's about 10 percent to 20 percent that i disagree with martin armstrong and that's saying a lot <laughs> because uh martin armstrong knows where it's at he knows it better than i do uh i'm playing by gut feeling that 10 to 20 percent and i think martin armstrong probably pays about five percent with his gut feeling so 95 percent of what martin armstrong says is going by his analysis uh just data raw data it's not as emotions playing into it with me it's more emotions uh, uh, more emotions than Martin Armstrong but I do look at the data and stuff so here's my take okay um, we're hitting a liquidity crisis serious liquidity crisis to a certain degree and that's by design because the war being waged right now it's just not on a military front it's not it's not just on troops and equipment it's also on an economic front okay there's a shitload of money international money that needs to find a safe haven where are they going to they're going now into commodities in large part they're going to go in there more and more right so if you're on our gilded i mentioned that silver around 18 17 and a half 18 19 was a pretty good entry point but it could also crumble down as well right but it was a pretty good entry point you could have bought a you know 20 percent of your position in that thing right i mentioned that bitcoin around sixteen thousand that it was sitting at uh, was a first good entry point you could have bought anywhere 10 to 20 i can't remember if i said 10 or 20 percent into it uh, some stocks possibly but i wouldn't trust the stock market right now because we're going to see a domino effect take place the same way we did possibly in uh, the 2000 uh, bubble right because interest rates have gone up so there's a lot of companies that are in the bottom end that won't be able to pay their bills right just like people look around you there's people that are struggling right now right interests have gone up mortgage mortgages have gone up shit food prices have gone up shit right uh their loan payments uh mortgage has gone up leases have gone up credit card is i don't i don't know what credit card companies are uh, charging now. all this shit's gone up and even though job market was tight for a long time there's a lot of layoffs happening right now we're not talking thousands of layoffs we're talking tens of thousands of people being laid off in extremely overpaid positions overpaid positions right huge 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 right um so there's a lot of things at play there's a lot of things at play collectible prices prices on collectibles tangible items is going through the roof right martin armstrong just posted something regarding a coin um that was auctioned off and they were expecting and that's at present they were expecting that they were it was uh priced at five hundred thousand. they people were guessing that it would go for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars it went for 1.9 million dollars right 1.9 million dollars something that was uh priced at five hundred thousand dollars estimated to sell for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars so over 1.9 million dollars right so tangible collectibles rare items the price is going up for them because there's a lot of money trying to find a safe haven 
what are you going to do? You're going you're gonna to put your money in the stock market if you got millions of it or tens of millions of it or even hundreds of millions of it or billions of it? Or are you just going to let it ride on the stock market? Or are you going to start diversifying into uh, metals, into collectibles? Uh, real estate, some places real estate is so overvalued, it's not even funny. Right? It's not even funny. When the prices start dropping, right? people are going to realize they, they not only have they not built equity in their house now they're in the whole 30 percent 40 percent of what they bought it into right holy shit that's a few hundred thousand dollars for a lot of people right they're gonna have to pay interest on that and higher mortgage prices what are they gonna do declare bankruptcy oops the banks have now have a shitload of people coming in and going oh we can't make payments we can't make payments we can't make payments we can't make payments right is that going to have a domino effect for the banks where the banks are going to have a liquidity crisis or or check this out or is money still being pumped into wall street into some of these hedge funds where that's the backstop where the government's saying okay we can't afford to have this financial crisis happen at this moment because we're waging war war three on multiple fronts so they're going to pump money into the system into wall streets into these funds where they come along just like in 2008 and buy up shitload of mortgages and shitload of properties at overvalued prices and play the accounting game write shit off and do all that jazz right what's going to happen these are the things you have to keep in mind for 2023 the financial the the only advice i can give you is be careful right do not bet the house the farm your children the shirt off your back on one bet it's not gonna end well for you right and if it ends well for you it's going to shoot you to the moon and you're going to be screwed to a certain degree because what are you going to do up there now right you're going to have jackals hyenas surrounding you going blah, 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 blah. we need needing a chunk of you right you're not going to know what's what right you won't know friend from foe you have to be careful right now the main thing you need to do is stabilize right stabilize yourself make sure if all of a sudden all your financing was cut off right you could still live for another year to two years right have some food have a good network of friends and family available to you right if you live in a place where you have property where you don't have a shitload of debt on it and you feel safe there you can grow food you can do that thing not have income coming in uh, and still survive you and your family for a couple of years to see if the which way the wind's blowing uh, make sure you do that first before anything else uh, that's my bit of advice unless you go more specific uh, because there's a lot of things going on like some stocks have already doubled in price look at schlumberger schlumberger hit a bottom schlumberger is a uh, company that i that i follow because geophysics because I, I like following markets and stuff like this they hit a bottom around 32 30 dollars well no they hit a bottom of 14 dollars when the market collapsed and then they were stabilized around 30 dollars 32 dollars or something now they're pushing late 50s 50 plus right is that going to continue possibly if we do kick into world war three energy is required more then yeah they're going to make a mint right minerals resources if the whole thing takes a tumble then they're going to take a tumble with it because all that mineral energy resources um is everything's going to come grinding to a halt right you gotta be quick on your toes right now when it comes to investing so uh you know in terms of your question regarding the markets you got to be quick on your toes stabilize before anything else Ch -ch -ch.